the schools to abortion access, key races across the state will have a major impact on what happens in North Carolina in the next two years. Good evening, I'm Angela Taylor. And I'm Russ Bowen. Republicans trying to flip enough seats in the General Assembly to win a supermajority that would help them override Democratic Governor Roy Cooper's veto. Mm -hmm. Capitol reporter Michael Hyland live in Raleigh with a closer look at where this battle is playing out. Michael. Yeah, and then all the TV ads, the yard signs, and of course all the mailers you're getting. This is really going to come down to just a handful of races, primarily in suburban communities. And we talked to leaders in both parties about their final push to sway voters. Your mailbox may be full, at least depending on where you live. It's extreme on abortion. And we want them to have equal opportunities. The battle for control in Raleigh is playing out across the state, with just a few races likely to determine the balance of power. Suburban districts in Wake, Mecklenburg, and a few other counties are the key focus. Go out and, and uh, vote and vote for change and vote Republican this year. I think it's pretty likely we hold on to enough seats to keep from a supermajority happening. Republicans control the General Assembly now, but if they pick up five more seats in the House and Senate, they'll be able to override Democratic Governor Roy Cooper's vetoes. Republican Senate Leader Phil Berger says in his chamber, he thinks the odds of that happening are better than 50 the decision that was made in 2020 that put Democrats in control uh, at the national level has just been a disaster. A new poll this week by the conservative John Locke Foundation found movement toward Republicans, with 50% of likely voters saying they plan to vote for a Republican candidate for the state legislature, compared to 44% who plan to vote for a Democratic candidate. House Democratic leader Robert Reeves thinks the Supreme Court's decision on abortion will impact the outcome. Turnout is probably going to be misleading. Polls are going to be misleading because you're going to have people who have traditionally voted Republican that are not going to vote Republican this time. Democrats are arguing for balance in government, saying that's helped with economic development and pushing to keep Governor Roy Cooper's veto power. And while some of these races are highly competitive, many of them are not this time around. Nearly a third of the races for the General Assembly are already over because the candidates are running unopposed. Live in Raleigh, Michael Hyland, CBS 17 News. All right, Michael, thank you.